We've got to take the water neck off the top here you know, where the thermostat housing is. We've got to remove this from the old one and reuse this. This is a this is a spot that generally likes to leak. Uh, I have the uh, the new uh, gasket for the thermostat um, from Ford. You have to buy it from Ford for whatever reason. They don't. Aftermarket water pumps are not supplied with that gasket, and you've got to replace the gasket. Otherwise, you're going to be right back in there fixing a leak. Now, once you have the once you have the the the, the thermostat housing off, okay. This this there's a little O-ring that sits here. That's obviously it's been worn and and uh, needs to be removed. Um, and this one is especially stubborn. But this was one of the spots where this particular truck was leaking from. We're going to reuse the thermostat. Thermostat's in good shape, and it gets stuck in there a little bit. So you got to pry it out. Okay. We're going to reuse that. Now, one of the things I got to point out here is at this point, this particular surface, we're going to reuse this on the new water pump. But this surface right here is where the the O-ring will seal. You want to take a little piece of sandpaper, and you want to make sure that this area is smooth and free of any sort of corrosion. Um, that's probably more, and, and if it's really bad, if it's really pitted up, they're only about twelve or fourteen dollars for another one of these from Ford. Uh, you know, if you have to get one, you have to get one. But you know, more than likely, uh, you'd be able to clean this one up and reuse it. Now it's time to reinstall the thermostat and the new uh, water pump. Set it down in there inside this little area, and you got to get this O-ring from Ford. Um, Generally, parts stores do not have this O-ring, and we set it down in there. There is no silicone used in this procedure. This is not a silicone silicone uh, uh, area that you that you use silicone. In fact, there's very few places on a power stroke diesel that uses silicone, except for the oil pan. The oil pan is held on with silicone. Now that you got your water neck all cleaned up and whatnot, it's ready to sit on there. Now, the old gasket when it came off of the old water pump was almost flush with the surface here. And if you notice, when you put this together, this one will sit up about a 32nd to a 16th of an inch off of the top of the, uh, off the, top of the surface here. And then when you put the, the, the thermostat housing back on top of it, it will compress it down and seal it. There's no need for gasket sealer. Get your nuts, your, your, your bolts threaded in there. Make sure your air tool is set on tighten and not loosen. You don't want to tighten the first bolt. You don't want to, you just want to go the first time around, you want to go snug with them. Okay, because if you tighten it, it'll go cockeyed. And it might push a little O-ring seal inside there out. Now once you get them snug, and you come back and you tighten them. Alright, next we have to install the, the, uh, the gasket on the back of the water pump. Right here. And, uh, install, and we'll be ready to install the water pump. Remember we're going to use a little bit of gasket sealer. I like to... The only reason I have a glove on is because I hate getting this stuff on my fingers. I don't know what it is, but um, I can be dirty all day long with grease, but I don't like this stuff on me. And you put it in the corners. Just dab a little bit of it in the little, in the little key spots that the gasket will come loose at the corners and where there's, a, where there's the Y's inside here, where there's two sections. You know, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. You don't need, the gasket sealer doesn't do anything in regard to the sealing. It's simply there, and you know, Permatex makes makes uh, products that are specifically designed to uh, specifically designed to do this, and you just dab it in there so it squishes just a little bit, just a little bit. The gasket sealer has no other purpose other than to hold this the seal inside of here. Okay. There's no sealing property. Now you see you got to make sure that it's sitting in there correctly. See how it's got to slide this way just a little bit to get that get that area down in there because if that pushes out of there while you're trying to set the uh,
try, you're trying to set this water pump on there, it's going to pinch the seal and it's going to leak. And you'll never know it's you'll never know what it is until you take it back apart and realize you you didn't get to sit down in there. You will drive yourself crazy trying to put this water pump on without a little bit of gasket sealer on there to kind of glue it in. I think I'm gonna stick just another dab of it right up under here. That seems to be an area that wants to pop up. As you run your fingers around it, try to see where it's gonna pop loose. See, I should have put a dab here and a dab here at these little corners instead of the one in the middle here, you see? And just, just kind of ease through it. See where it is, where it's popping loose a little bit. Just look at it. Take your time. You don't have to be in a hurry. You know, it isn't dinner time yet. So now, we're going to take this carefully now. Now you see the gasket will stay on there. <coughs> see, it won't fall off now. Now if you shake it and you throw it up against the wall, it'll fall off. But now you can set it on there without the seal coming loose.